happy wednesday my friends welcome back to our kitchen today we're preparing banana bread and guys before we be able to enjoy this bread before we are able to eat it i wish to share with you a text from the book of john chapter 6 verse 48 and it says i am that bread of life these words were the words of jesus speaking in the same way we will benefit from the physical bread you're about to prepare we can only benefit from jesus by eating him by taking his words which reveal him by assimilating them and putting them into our lives just a quote i'll share with you right now it says that the life of christ in you produces the same fruits as in him living in christ adhering to christ supported by christ drawing nourishment from christ you bear fruit after the similitude of christ my friends if christ is your life source it is impossible to have fruits that are different from him if he is your source of living water it is difficult it is impossible to give something that is opposed to where you're getting your source may jesus be your source this day quickly we'll go ahead to our ingredients which are we have very ripe bananas they're beautiful not overripe but ripe we have cooking oil here you can use olive oil you can use coconut oil or good or any good oil that you have there we have oatmeal here we have cassava flour which has been roasted and desiccated coconut here we have grinded uh, some ground nuts which we roasted prior here we have jaggery which has been crushed to powder here we have some flax seeds omega-3 full we have some sesame seeds very rich in calcium and zinc here we have some cardamom and lastly friends we have ginger only 10 ingredients so we'll go ahead to mixing up things what we'll do we'll have a big bowl we'll begin by mashing our bananas we're using four bananas in this recipe you can find the exact ingredients in the description box below after mashing these bananas we'll add another wet ingredient we will add our oil and mix this very well um, bananas are very sweet if you get ripe bananas the better add jaggery there jaggery is adding a very nice um, taste and sweetness mix very well as you can see here then put this aside and we'll begin to mix our dry ingredients here we have our oatmeal we are adding the desiccated coconut and the cassava flour cassava flour smells so nice when you roast it and it is just having a good taste one more thing about this bread it is gluten free ensure you get gluten-free oat, oatmeal cassava is gluten-free and for my gluten-free friends this is a good recipe for you once you're done mixing that take another bowl mix the other dry ingredients here we have the ground nuts we are adding our sesame seeds we'll also add our flax seeds and lastly the cardamom and the ginger powders and mix them very well once this is done we'll go ahead to adding our dry ingredients to our wet ingredients um i used all the ingredients so don't fear mixing just add bit by bit so to our banana mixture begin by adding the mixture that has ground nuts and seeds so i added it bit by bit 
until it was well mixed. If you want a runny texture, you can include milk, perhaps coconut milk or soy milk or almond milk. But for my case, I wanted some semi-thick, thin texture. Mine was a bit thick, which was very okay for me. One thing about bread that does not have yeast or baking soda, I'll advise you not to overmix it. Don't this is not yeast, you're not kneading. Don't overmix. Just mix it gently and just some few strokes and you're good to go. And here I have mixed everything. I have used all the oats and the cassava flour and the groundnut mix. And it is it is this hard. It, when you touch it, it will stick on your hands. But when you lift it with a spoon, it is falling. So it is not so thick like that of a bread dough, which is made with yeast. It is not runny like that of the pancake. We'll allow this to rest for 30 minutes. Meanwhile, we're preparing our loaf pan where we're going, we're going to put our bread. So after 30 minutes, put your bread dough inside the loaf pan. As you can see here, level it very well. Meanwhile, also preheat your oven to 180 degrees Celsius or 370 degrees Fahrenheit and put your bread inside and allow it to bake for 45 to 50 minutes or until the point when you insert a toothpick it will come out clean. So as you can see here it is well cooked and we wish to leave it to cool down and afterwards we'll cut it. As you can see, it is compact. It is not thick like cement. It is not hard and stretchy, which is the consistency you're looking forward to in a bread. So remember when you eat this, eat to the glory of God. Remember to be a channel of light in everything that you do. I really desire to get your feedback. If you like this recipe, please give it a thumbs up. If you have not yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. It will help develop my channel. Otherwise, God bless you. Have a blessed week. Bye.